Sometimes beauty and brains are mutually exclusive. Such as? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 American beauty pageant fails. I have to say the biggest risk I've ever taken was when I went to Canada. Number 10. The force is not with her. We've watched enough pageants to know the talent portion is tricky. No matter how good you are, tap dancing and baton twirling is not hip. Never was this more obvious than at 1993's Miss Arizona competition, when Stacey Hedger attempted to woo Star Wars nerds with an off-key disco rendition of the theme, on the trumpet, with dancing. And she's not the only one with a bizarre talent. Number 9. The United States of Hawaii Things start off so well for Miss Hawaii Nadine Tanega when she's asked why she's proud to be an American. I am especially proud to be a first-generation American and a resident of Hawaii, our youngest state. But you can pinpoint the moment where she falls off the rails. And believe in ourselves. There it is. From the rocky shores of Hawaii to the beautiful sandy beaches of Hawaii, America is our home. When Alan Thicke mocks you, you know you're in trouble. It's a wonderfully versatile state you have there. She must be in that one-fifth of U.S. Americans that don't have maps. Don't know what we're talking about? Give it a minute. Number 8. Prostitutes are the paradigm of purity. When Miss Ohio Audrey Bolt was asked at the 2012 Miss USA pageant about the portrayal of women in the media, she spit out the first thing that came to mind. And the beginning of her answer is almost passable. I think it depends on the movie. I think there are some movies that depict women in a very positive role and then some movies that put them in a little bit more of a negative role. Until... Such as the movie Pretty Woman. We had a wonderful, beautiful woman, Julia Roberts, and she was having a rough time. But you know what? She came out on top and she didn't let anybody stay in her path. Is Pretty Woman the most bizarre film choice? No, but it's up there. Especially if you're glossing over the fact that Julia Roberts' character is, well, a hooker. Number seven, the courage of her convictions. Healthcare in the United States is a contentious issue, and no one knows that better than Miss Arizona Alicia Monique Blanco. At the 2009 Miss USA pageant, she was asked whether healthcare should be a benefit of citizenship to the country. Somehow, Blanco turned it into a matter of right or wrong and avoided mentioning healthcare in any way, shape, or form during her response. But such conviction! This is an issue of integrity, regardless of which end of the political spectrum that I stand on. I've been raised in a family to know right from wrong and politics, whether or not you fall in the middle, the left or the right, it's an issue of integrity, whatever your opinion is. And I say that with the utmost conviction. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alicia. Number six, crackpot scientific theories. No, I do not believe in evolution. I do not think it should be taught in schools and I would not encourage it. Was this question designed to trip up contestants? The 2011 Miss USA competitors were asked a series of pre-interview questions that ranged from would you use an online dating site to what's your opinion on nude photo shoots? So the query about evolution being taught in schools was out of left field. Answers varied, but far too many agreed that schools shouldn't teach so-called theories. I think evolution should be taught as what it is. It's a theory, so I don't think it should be taught as fact. So math's out too then? Either way, somebody's gonna be offended, so I would say yes, but you know, somebody's mad now. <laughs> Number five, equal opportunity nonsense. Affirmative action is, is important in, in your career, and I think that they, they work together. As long as there have been beauty contests, there have been beautiful girls misspeaking their minds. During 1995's Miss USA competition, Miss Minnesota Angelique de Maison was asked, Miss Minnesota, do you think that your career prospects would be affected if affirmative action were dismantled? Long story short, affirmative action has to do with equal opportunity employment, but Miss Minnesota clearly doesn't know that as evidenced by the wide eyes and repeat request. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? 
She soon regains her composure to give a completely clumsy and inappropriate response. If you if you stand strong on what you believe, that you should you should use that in all aspects of your life, including your career. I know that I do. Thank you. All right, that's Miss Minnesota. Don't go away. Number four, an inoculation for idiocy. We'll start this one by giving credit where credit is due. More pageant contestants should admit they don't understand if that's the case. Fortunately for Miss California Leah Cecil, this interview took place before the 2013 Miss America pageant. Unfortunately, cameras were rolling anyway when she was asked about her opinion on the legalization of euthanasia. You know, that's actually one thing that I'm not very educated on, so I need to look up on, on exactly what okay. that means. Okay. Well, you, you but I do know it's a, it's a vaccine, correct? Mm, no, euthanasia is assisted suicide. We're guessing by now she's an expert on the subject. Number three, wage parity hilarity. You'd think by now these girls would focus more on interview prep, but alas, at 2013's Miss USA pageant, Miss Utah Marissa Powell figuratively face planted when asked why women still earn less than men. I think we can re relate this back to education and how we are. After a gibberish laden run on, Powell admits defeat and flashes the I have no idea where I'm going with this smile. Then it gets worse. I think especially the men are um, seen as the leaders of this and so we need to try to figure out how to create education better so that we can solve this problem. Thank you. Thank you, Utah. Thank you, sweetheart. All's well that ends well, though. She won Miss Photogenic. Number two, marriage inequality. Controversy reigned at 2009's Miss USA pageant, where the girls were asked fairly politicized questions. But none got as much press as Miss California Carrie Prejean when she was probed by openly gay personality Perez Hilton about same-sex marriage. We live in a land that you can choose same-sex marriage or opposite marriage. And you know what? In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there, but that's how I was raised and that's how I think that it should be between a man and a woman. Prejean's entitled to her opinion, but she bombed because she didn't sympathize with everyone she was competing to represent. And we didn't even mention opposite marriage or the sex tapes. I don't think that needs to be discussed right now. Number one, truth, justice, and the U.S. American way. Miss South Carolina Caitlin Uptons is the face that launched a thousand memes. It's 2007's Miss Teen USA competition, and Uptons asked why one-fifth of Americans can't find the United States on a map. What follows is a string of buzzwords, war garble, and random references to South Africa and the Iraq. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and... By the way, we've never found such as on a map. Kudos to Mario Lopez for keeping it together. Thank you very much, South Carolina. Do you agree with our list? Which beauty pageant train wreck could you not look away from? For more top tens about your favorite pop culture topics, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries.